All right, so here we go. The first bigger, crowded, more complicated area. A lot of the playthroughs of zones will probably be shorter than normal. Well, I mean, even this one will probably still be shorter than normal, but this is definitely one of the big ones as far as zones go. A lot of NPCs to pick up if I want to get them all again, which I'm sure I do. Which means pretty thoroughly exploring the area regardless. Get that gargoyle in early, huh? Except it went from being the... The big climactic rise to the top of Anorlando to... Get the hell out of my castle. Go down there. Get. Go down there with all the other dead... Undead. And that dumb little... Ghetto, basically. Kind of makes me wonder what the hell this gate's supposed to keep people out of, though. Because this, everything's totally screwed on the inside. Like, this guy thinks he's... Does he think he's fulfilling some sacred duty by guarding everybody? So I brought some different spells along for us to test this time around. So we'll see how that goes. Hey guys, I know what happens next, so I'm just gonna skirt the edge here. You can have your little dog murder. Yep, that's how it goes. Let's test our new spell here, the Farron Flash Sword. Oh my god. So on top of doing decent damage, it just has a straight up like Melee weapon attack speed. That's pretty impressive on its own right. <laughs> Forgive me if I skip the dialogue here, but it's we've seen this entire we've seen this guy's whole spiel before. All right, bye. This game has some very long, slow dialogue, and I'd prefer not to sit through hours of it again when I when I'm 100% sure it's the same dialogue we've seen before. I'll try to be careful about uh, new quest lines, of course, but we probably won't even do UL storyline. But I do want to. Bring them along, just because I like having everyone show up in town. But I might, I'm, I probably won't ever use a service this time around. My character is going to keep his face uh, jerky free this time around. All right, well these guys are going to, these guys are going to come after me. So defensive spell, aha! The spell that you can use against dogs, because they can, even they can't avoid it, because it gets them on their approach. Oh. oh, that's satisfying. So satisfying. Doggy. Doggy, doggy, doggy. I just stabbed you with a candle. That's how we do it. That's how we do it in the settlement. <laughs> I am already low on flasks, but it doesn't matter because there's a. We're going to be at a bonfire in just a moment. Now let's try playing. Ooh, I'm actually too low for a soul spear. Let's try the Crystal Soul Spear. I forgot to, I forgot to check this this uh, spell at first. I avoided spears in general because I heard that the Soul Spear was hilariously weak. But the Crystal Soul Spear does not really share that problem. Oh, that reminds me. We want to swap something out a little bit. Scholar Ring. We want to swap out for the Casting Speed Ring. Which I definitely remember which one that one is. Shit. <laughs> Oh, increases uh, FP restored with Ashen Essence Flask. It's probably not. Well, actually, I think it fully restores regardless, so that's kind of pointless for me, I think. Attunement of spells. So many goddamn freaking. There we go. Sage Ring. Shortened spellcasting time. So many rings. Alright, so this time, one of the big things I'm going to do is I'm going to not murder those two NPCs I killed last time. That became one of the most controversial things I've ever done in a video game, ever. Hi, giant. Yeah, he's in, It's one of those things where it's, he's really is, like, in plain sight once you know look for him. But one way or another, well, the first time I played this game and looked around, I'm like, wow, look at this crazy scenery, and I somehow never saw the giant with the bow up there. I will still defend myself, saying that the, 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 he fucking killed me. <laughs> he literally killed me. So, like... It wasn't unreasonable for me to attack him when I got up there. 
and similarly the other NPC I killed is just a carbon copy of actual enemies that attack you everywhere. So it was pretty natural to fight them too. I just have a lightsaber. Fuck you. <laughs> Holy shit. This is great. Die, corpse. See, it doesn't even cost much to use either. Wow. Oops, missed. Try that again. Kind of undoes some of the uh, expected downsides of being a spellcaster when you just straight up have a melee sword attack. I don't even have to like enchant a weapon to be my melee weapon. I can just melee weapon out of the ether. She's like, magical melee weapon. To be fair, I probably can't plunging attack with it. That was not physical. Shit. Out of here. Anyone coming after me right now? Apparently no one heard me loudly fall through the ceiling. That's fine. That's fine. I like being ignored. Yeah, how did that pan out? <laughs> oh, I heard one. Where is he? He's behind this wagon. Is there one coming at me right now? I can hear one walking around. Oh well. Bye! It was nice not particularly knowing you, to be honest. But I mean, I'm sure you I'm sure you have a nice personality. Oh right, Loretta's bone. If I go up here, I'll get Loretta's bone. Don't want to miss on that little detail. Hip. Or I could miss. Good job. There we go. Oh god, that was like an oddly violent animation at that point. Watching it just get flung to the side like that. I'm trying to remember what you get. You can trade Loretta's bone at the crows, which is interesting. Uh, I don't think it's a particularly good item, though. Oh, it's a ring of sacrifice. You get a ring of sacrifice by trading Loretta's bone at the crows, which is kind of fitting because you're sacrificing a piece of human to get a get an item. So you get a sacrifice item. Go figure. Sort of morbid. But I might as well grab it for Grey Rat storyline, which I still need to go free from his cell, but I'll get back to that. Um, isn't this a crowded room, huh? What, how about we see if my uh, aim has improved at all? Spoilers, it probably hasn't. But uh, this was a running joke in our multiplayer, our co-op series, is how poorly I throw these things. Whoa! I threw that way higher than I thought I was going to. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, come on. You had, like, everywhere else to throw that. Well, that was a bummer. I guess I'll just have to murder them in the face. Shit. Oh! Okay. Okay. Nope. Nope. Fuck that general direction. <laughs> I knew what direction they were in. Oh, that's not a, that's not an SS flask. That's a, uh, a death... A murder weapon. <laughs> not a healing item. Alright. Well, I can sneak up on these guys. Obviously, I'm going to target their leader with the biggest dangerous spell I have. Let's see here. And can't I cast the, uh... This weapon has a special characteristic, doesn't it? Boosts strength and sorceries for a short time, works in either hand. Cool. So... It's morphin' time! Fuck you! Uh oh. Uh, this is awkward. Give me a second. Quick. Come on. Have you ever heard of a refractory period? There we go. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Everything's fine. Come and get it. This is fantastic. This sword spell is fantastic. This is silly. <laughs> oh, crap. Did not see you there. That's fine. The thing that's dis distinctly different about the sword spell compared to most spells, aside from the fact that you're doing, a you're conjuring a lightsaber out of midair, that... Oh! They can use in a couple. They can use in a half a second instead of like two seconds. It's just the crazy element of the fact that uh, you can cast it so quickly. Um, I mean, it has so little cost, and 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 it's casted so fast. You, it's actually a spell you can spam a little bit, which is a weird feeling. <laughs> like that's not how spells are supposed to work. Not one bit. But anyway, I was able to use the power up on my wand to make myself a little bit more powerful. Not my wand. The power up on my. Staff to make myself more powerful for a moment. Hey guys, play it cool. Play it cool. Play it cool. Ow. Ow. Okay, it's gonna take some practice to figure out the timing on that one, because clearly I am losing some of these showdowns we're having. That's fine though. 
Because I can always just blow them up. Yeah, you forgot about that, didn't you? This room's full of bad guys, right? Where are you hiding at? Let's go ahead and restore that. One of you's right here. One of you's right here. Is there a dog? You guys got a poochie? Alright. Careful, careful. Let's go open that, that door with the uh, Flambridge guy hanging out by it. Hey, Mr. Flambridge. Bye, Mr. Flambridge. Gaze into my eyes. Oh, God. I wasn't really expecting it to clip. That was an awkward moment for all of us. Alright. So now I've got quick and easy access to one of the other bonfires by just hopping down there. Don't want to go down there quite yet, I don't think. What the hell? Oh. That's somebody upstairs shooting darts at me. I thought there was somebody right behind me and I was about to spook the hell out. Alright. We're gonna be careful here. In fact, I might even heal in advance, yeah. Because they can be bastards here with all their little... All their ranged attacks. I see you hiding up there. Quick roll, okay. Any more ambushes waiting for me? Is it just you? You deserve this. Ow! Wow, that's some da that's a lot of damage from two little darts. Not appreciated to be on Oh no. These guys are interesting because they they kind of persist for the entirety of the campaign, which is kind of a surprise. They really they feel like an early area enemy, uh oh. But then they just keep coming back, which is a bit of a surprise. There we go. That'll thin the herd a little bit. Got me first. There we go. Alright. This will take some practice. I will say that in general, when you're playing a spellcaster in a Souls game or a Souls like, usually the trade off is that bosses get easier, the rest of the game gets harder. Just because everything's trying to run up to you and stab you in the face. And as it turns out, trying to fend them off with spells can be harder. Unless you can snipe them from a distance, then it's hilariously easy. But that's not always an option. Bye! Anyone else? Or oh, there's one. Oh, he's fell. Bye. Is he gonna run all the way up here to catch me now? Nope, he's just shooting darts. All right. Careful. I weren't bone. Yep. All right, we gotta go find Nana soon, but not quite yet. Oh, I'm supposed to hop down from up there, aren't I? Oops. I'll check around here for items real quick. Anyone? anyone oh, there's one. Fire bombs make up for some of the ones I wasted earlier. Also, a nice little reference to the fact that obviously a fire bomb would be useful over there. I wonder if I can see it from here. I mean, hit it from here. All right, you are the chosen one, or whatever. Yeah, that's fun. That's fun. Be impressed, pyromancer dude. I think you can see this from there. Shit, don't. That one didn't count. That was that was for warm up because it's a. It's a fire thing. Woo! I apparently couldn't hear an explosion from this far away. I don't know how that works. I don't think that's how sound carries. I think that would actually really be loud, even from over here. But fine, if you wanna... If you wanna interpret things that way, it's fine. Here we go. Plank shield. Hey, buddy. Another Nana disappeared. It's a grand thing carries a cage. He ever has his cage. And Nana's never coming back. So come into the cage and become Nana's shade. Another Nana disappeared. So, so come into the cage and become Nana's shade. He said he told. Oh, hey, little guy. Hey, look, you can see the little ambush waiting down there with the dogs and stuff. You cannot survive the fall from here, but it's there. Oh yeah, I didn't really put together how the spatial part of this. I knew that we were across the bridge from over the, from that area. But I didn't really put together, like, oh yeah, that means I'm totally directly above the whole area with the ambushing pot people. Which means that, oh yeah, because over there is the ring you can knock off a corpse. Which is overhanging the area that has, uh, the religious, the, uh, the maiden's protector and everything. Lorne, I believe his name is? Alright. So let's go become Nana's Shade. Yep. This is a, a new, this is... In my defense, 
I totally didn't kill this guy because I realized that he was neutral. I was I picked up on that much at least. Alright. There is an item over here, so I might as well grab that real quick. Oh. Well. Well. We'll try to get that later, I guess. Hey buddy. Yeah, it's okay. We'll just not acknowledge how utterly bizarre that is. So this should be how I get to the Purple Covenant. The Mud Racker? Mount, Mound Maker, sorry. Mound Maker Covenant. Obviously this is the under chamber of the boss fight. So it's something I, I lost access to when I killed the boss. Also when I killed NPCs related to how to get here in the first place, as it turns out. But it's a cool little area. It is a cool little area. Hey guys. I actually see the appeal of being a mud, uh, mound maker, because you that's the uh, the mad phantoms, the purple phantoms that invade. And the fact that they can win by killing any phantom is actually really cool. Because, honestly, when you invade a, uh, a host who has like two, three, even four players total on one team together, and you have to try to fight them, I feel like killing any of them is a victory. So the idea that like, oh, you killed one guy, you win, mound maker, get out of here. It's actually kind of nice, as opposed to every other invader that's just like, I have to defeat this entire army, and or it's it's host, or I'm doomed. So sweet. Well, what's up? This pit is for hollows, not for the likes of you sane folk. Or perhaps you are a hollow, posing as otherwise? That was weird. It seemed to skip a line of dialogue, but I didn't press any buttons. <laughs> yes, yes. Then we are just fine. It's important to know who you are. But we'll all be mad soon enough. And should you be undead, well, all the more so. Beware. The shackles of the gods are fragile. You might need this. Etch it on your heart if you feel your sanity slipping. Come here to pile up your victims, for that will form your anchor. You'll see when you go mad. They'll be your family. <laughs> You'll go mad one day, but not today. Take my advice. Use this bone and leave this place. This pit is for hollows, and for the occasional madman fond of piling up victims. You've better things to do, I'd hope. <laughs> this pit is for hollows, you... And so you get the ability to join their covenant. Let's check that item out. Another one to add to my collection. So now the only one I think I'm missing, I'm missing is probably Dark Moon, and I think nothing else actually. I'll always double check though. A malformed vertebrae found by the mad with a queer symbol on its side. Proof of the shackles of the gods. Equipped to pledge oneself to the Mound Maker's Covenant. The Mound Makers wish only to add to their mounds, becoming mad spirits, whether summoned as cooperators or invaders. They are blithe to those around them, for in their minds, any kill might lead to another shackle. So they don't even care what side they're on, which is kind of fascinating from a PvP perspective of the nonsense that can come up there. Got a little shield here and there. And I think this is where I can pray. I think I was already able to pray, but I wasn't able to get the Covenant, which means that I had to get Shackles in different ways if I wanted to increase my, my ranking. But I could be wrong. One of the many 
dead locations. This one does appear to be a big old pile of... Oh yeah, I think I... Oh yeah, I remember men mentioning this the first time around, actually. It's a big old pile of Nido and a big old pile of the uh, the rotten one, if I remember correctly. The the final... The, uh, the undead bottom of the pit boss from uh, Dark Souls 2. Because it's a mixture of uh, corpses and idols everywhere, which is a nice little touch. Really, ni really eye-catching. I do, I do find myself wishing that more of the Covenants were a living NPC, though, just because it's kind of a bummer they're all dead relics and idols now, whereas they were, like, actual characters in previous games. But that's probably meant to symbolize how much, in this game in particular, this is all the end of an age, basically. Nice then to give you a uh, bone, in case you didn't have any. It's a minor note, but I've come back to save Grey Rat real quick, because I realized I had the key, but didn't come back for him. Ah. You're no jailer, are you? Not, uh, I'll... Very well, I do. All right. So to continue off, roughly where we left off. Oop. Is our guy is he up up there? Oh, he's totally up there. All right. So this place is all fiery and deadly. Oh wait, I'm not gonna go there with that right now anyway, though, because I'm gonna hop on down. So a hip. <laughs> you blood. Oh. Whoa! More damage than I was expecting. <laughs> Awkward. Just gonna go ahead and light this real quick. Try to feel better about myself. Okay. Whoops. My bad. I just drowned in pain there. Oh, sweet revenge. Three cheers. Howdy. Howdy! Oh, oh! We've got fireballers upstairs. We've got fireball. Oh, that's adorable, Titanite shard. Tech. Oh, dog just fell off a cliff. Oh, that wasn't a dog. That was a farmer. My bad. It is. It is adorable finding Titanite shards like regular old original ones. But technically, they're still useful because they. Uh, you still need to get those first ranks every time you try to upgrade a weapon. So they're still just. They're still just as necessary. Die. Uh oh. Yeah, I figured that was what was gonna happen. There we go. <laughs> Could have just as easily cast a spell, but instead I slowly scrolled my way over. There we go. That is a satisfyingly quick spell. And so the Pyromancer is ours. Bye. Ooh. Little hand axe here and there. And so we have Grey Rat, and we have the Pyromancer. And we have the... Now, I, I at first I thought it was the Sorcerer Trainer, which made sense because we found a Pyromancer and a Miracle Vendor, but he's, uh, Yoel's kind of not the Sorcerer Trainer, is he? He's kind of just a character that happens to have a, a couple sorceries, and so does his replacement, but the, the true Sorcery Trainer comes in the next zone. There we go. Ooh. He did it correctly with the no, with the no health loss. Come on, Ambush. I know where you at. I know how you do. Do not fall off. <laughs> Hug that wall. Hug it hard. I know all too well about just how easy it is to fall off that cliff in particular. Right, we've got to keep an eye out, because this is a zone where you're very prone to being invaded. Is there any reason to kill that guy? Not that I can think of right now. Right right now, my goal... Is that dog coming after me? Doggy? Doggy, 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 doggy. Wow, I got him without locking on. I'm kind of impressed with myself a little bit. Let's charge up my spell a little bit. Oh, here here she comes. Nope. No, thank you. Huh. Yeah. Oh, she's alive. Awkward. Okay. That was not deadly, as it turns out. I'm going to quickly heal. I'm going to try to feel better about myself. can't help it. When somebody's really close to dying like that, I just feel like I have to melee them to death out of spite. Just because it's amusing to me, when obviously it's not the most practical solution. So we can't get to the boss yet, because the door's not open yet. But the whole reason the door's not open yet is because I'm not going that way yet, on purpose. I'm trying to go the backwards sort of route. Because I want to unlock a friend of ours this time around. And it's kind of pointless to get him on my team if I don't showcase where he's useful. So if I unlock the door straight away, we'll be we'll be bypassing the whole part where they're actually really useful. This part's kind of a mess. It's much easier just to go. Hut! 
I'm going this way now. Bye. <laughs> they don't take kindly to whatever I just did. Oh well. Oh, he is in a hurry. Look at that guy. Ooh, I hit them both. That's cool. I did not realize that that attack had piercing qualities, to be honest. Hey, buddy, old pal. Mm. I'm really condescending, and I feel really tough, and I'm better than you. Blah, blah, blah. Don't worry, I'll I'll silently die off camera, because I'm actually really unimportant. But I'm going to act like I'm better than you. I'm an NPC in Dark Souls. Alright. Now for everyone's favorite NPC in this game. Much more, des much more deserving of screen time, and that's why he gets it. You gotta admit, that made you jumpy the first time you saw it, right? You're like, that elevator's moving without me. By default, you're like, something bad's gonna happen. And you're like, oh, He's adorable! Hmm. 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 <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. And goodbye. Uh-oh. I may have misjudged this a little bit. As to which way I was going. Oh well, this is acceptable too. I'll unlock, I'll, I'll kill, I can permanently kill an enemy and unlock a bonfire direction, right? That's gotta be worthwhile. Let's go ahead and chug. So I don't know how much chugging I'll get to do during the boss fight, the enemy itself. Let's just power myself up in advance. You deserve this. Woo! Quickly, quickly, quickly! There we go. He's fast enough that I wasn't going to risk it too much with the uh, spell casting. Got it! So we could actually go straight to the uh, Road of Sacrifice from here. I mean, I am right now, technically. Huh? Which gives me access to the Watchers. And the Crystal Sage. Oh yeah, I can go... I can go straight to the Watchers. That's interesting, I didn't think about that. If you're taking this path, Vort has to be your second boss fight. But technically the Watchers could be your third boss fight, because you could walk straight down that path and just go take them on. That is interesting to me. They could take that kind of path. Uh, the one thing though is that it's more of a... It's definitely in the territory of stuff that you would do just because you want to amuse yourself by taking different paths through the game, as opposed to things you would do specifically because it benefits you. Because, uh, if you keep, if you don't do Ziegwart's quest in order, you might despawn him. I'm not entirely sure which parts of his quest are mandatory and which ones aren't, because oftentimes individual moments aren't. Uh, I'm trying to think of which one it is for, uh... In Dark Souls 1, there's, I think there's one or two times you can meet him and have a conversation with him that are totally unnecessary to his overall storyline. And there's a, I think that applies once or twice here, too. But uh, ultimately, you do need to... I like that this is basically... It's almost like a semi-mandatory tutorial, because obviously you want to find out what's on top of this tower. So it's kind of a nice touch to teach you this elevator trick in a less hmm. secret way. Bye! But, uh... But yeah, you could you could skip straight to uh, the Watchers from there. It's crazy to think about because obviously I killed the Curse Rotten Greatwood and I killed the Crystal Sage and then I killed the uh, after the Crystal Sage I took out uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, Deacons of the Deep. So that's three bosses I did before Bitch wa Abyss Watcher, but it's actually not nearly as linear. Hey, sorry about last time. You don't remember, right? Who are you? I help any time. I help any time. And I think that's about all of his dialogue. So, uh... I did kill two NPCs last time, but I will say that they are, like, the two least interesting NPCs in the game, basically. Because <laughs> one of them just... Well, one just has, says... One says weird stuff about Nana, or whatever the hell. And then this one's like, I help any time. Which, admittedly, from a mechanical standpoint, he does help you, and then he throw, he uh, launches attacks at people, which is kind of cool. But, uh, it's kind of silly that he, uh... You don't even get a conversation out of him. 